Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, delving into a chilling and heart wrenching crime that shook a quiet neighborhood. Join me as we uncover the sinister details of Victor Alexander Putrel's heinous acts. After committing a gruesome crime, Victor Alexander Putrel takes a brazen step by visiting the home of his girlfriend's father, supposedly to retrieve forgotten children's clothes. Little does anyone know, he leaves behind a crucial piece of evidence that will later lead investigators to the horrifying truth. Within the walls of his girlfriend's family home, Victor snatches a tablet belonging to one of the victimized girls. Watch as he callously pawns it at a nearby shop, receiving a meager sum of 500 pesos. This seeming insignificant act sets off a chain of events that will eventually expose his dark secret. The day after the crime, Victor spends the equivalent of last $10 while vacating on the beach with his best friend, Crystal. Unbeknownst to her, Victor confesses to doing something terribly to his lover, leaving Crystal disturbed. Crystal, torn between loyalty and suspicion, attempts to check on Verena and her children. Victor, however, refuses her visit, citing a disorderly and emotionally atmosphere at home. Unaware of the tragedy unfolding behind closed doors, Crystal makes a decision that will haunt her later. As the smell of decomposition grows stronger, concerned neighbors finally contact the police. The stench emanating from Victor and Verena's home cannot be ignored any longer. The community binds together to seek help unaware of the gruesome discovery awaiting them. Law enforcement officers, responding to the emergency call, break into the home. Inside, they are met with a, met with a scene of unimaginable horror, the lifeless bodies of Raina and her children. The shockwaves of this brutal crime reverberate through the quiet neighborhood. The press quickly catches wind of the tragedy, and the detectives race to establish Victor's identity. In a shocking turn of events, a live report detailing the gruesome details of the maid's death goes viral on major metropolitan TV channels. Victor, at work in his workshop, learns of the police breaking into his house, realizing the dark secret is now exposed. With his imminent detention looming, Victor sends a poignant message to the owner of the workshop, revealing the grim truth of his actions. The confession, filled with regret and sorrow, leaves us grappling with the reality of a once perfect love turned tragic. As Victor passes on Reina's relatives' contacts to a trusted friend, Amigo Elurania Marancini, he makes a bizarre last wish. Watch as he expresses a dire for a grand biker escort at his funeral, leaving those who received the message puzzled and disturbed. As Victor spirals into a darker mindset, he sends a final message to Miguel, expressing his disbelief in anyone's intentions to save him. The chilling declaration of leaving the world adds an ominous stone to the unfolding events. Miguel, concerned for his friend's well-being, takes immediate action and contacts the police. Law enforcement officers track Victor's location through his cell phone and move in swiftly. However, upon arriving at the scene, they discover a surprising turn of events. Victor, with an air of serenity, lying in a park. This arrest unfolds smoothly, raising questions about the true nature of his intentions. As we unravel the layers of tragedy, we learn more about Raina Isabel's upbringing. Born in 1985 in the Dominican Republic, Raina faced the challenges of parent separation. Despite the hardships, she maintained close relationships with both her biological and stepfathers. Reina's promising future takes a dark turn as we delve into her educational journey and vibrant personality. Meet Reina Isabel, a determined young woman with dreams of pursuing a second degree in medicine. However, her aspirations take a backseat when she faces rejection from the Autonomous University of Santo Domingo. Undeterred, Reina decides to try again the following year, setting the stage for a series of life-altering events. At the age of 20, Reina crosses paths with Daniel Borden, a man significantly older than herself. Despite the age difference, a love blossoms, leading to marriage and the birth of three children. Watch as the seemingly ideal marriage faces challenges, giving rise to conflicts that would shape the future of the family. After eight years together, Reina and Daniel decide to separate, initiating a legal battle over child custody. The court intervenes, conducting a psychological evaluation to determine the best custodial arrangement for their children. However, the judge's decision defies expert recommendations, setting the stage for tragedy. As Reina gains custody of the older children, a shocking revelation unfolds her focus on alimony payments rather than the well-being of her children. Initiating a legal dispute, she accuses Daniel of non-payment, leading to a contentious battle in the courtroom. Daniel's defense, however, takes an unexpected turn. In a surprising twist, Reina's own mother testifies in defense of Daniel during the legal proceedings. He paints a picture of a responsible and loving father, challenging Reina's claims. The court's decision, however, adds another layer of complexity to the already turbulent family dynamics. As the legal battle concludes, the impact on the children becomes evident. 
To join me as we unravel the aftermath of Reina's choices, questioning the true motives behind her actions. The years that follow reveal the consequences of a bitter cuddy dispute that leaves scars on everyone involved. Meet Reina Isabel, a mother who seemingly balances her life, visiting her children regularly and enjoying weekends with them. However, the shadows of her choices cast doubt on the facade of her seemingly normal life. Little did she know that her new love, Victor, would bring a darkness that would unravel her world. Victor Alexander Putoray, an enigmatic figure with a striking appearance, enters Reina's life. Despite these eccentricities, Reina falls deeply in love with him. Explore the contradictions within Victor's character as he presents himself as a kind and caring partner with a troubled past that tugs at Reina's heartstrings. As Victor weaves tales of a challenging childhood to manipulate Reina's trust, the mother falls for his affability. Unbeknownst to them, Victor's past holds darker secrets, despite his appearance as a low-abiding citizen and motorcycle enthusiast. A neighbor's chilling recollection hints at the true nature of this mysterious man. Victor's love for motorcycles takes a dark turn as he immerses himself in a subculture that unnerves those around him. Despite his quiet demeanor, the occasional slip reveals a lost or uncover the unsetting incident that sends shockwaves to the neighborhood, leaving them questioning the true nature of Reina's new love. Reina and Victor present a seemingly idyllic image to the world. They take the children on weekends, and Reina's parents are pleased with the kind and attentive partner Victor appears to be. However, a disturbing piece of information casts a shadow over this picturesque scene, threatening to expose the hidden darkness within. As the unsettling truth begins to surface, Rhino's world crumbles. Join me as we unravel the layers of deception, manipulation, and the monstrous reality that Reina unknowingly invited into her life. The aftermath reveals a chilling tale of horror that challenges the perception of those closest to her. Meet Victor, a seemingly ordinary man with a complicated past. Despite a restraining order preventing him from approaching his 10-year-old daughter, Victor's actions appear harmless to Reno's parents. Little do they know, a tangled web of secrets and strained relationships is about to unfold. As Reina and Victor take in Reina's grandchildren, they move from a small apartment to a spacious rented house. The family seems to be on the path to happiness. However, financial difficulties and heavy troubles lurk beneath the surface, threatening the stability they've built. With Reina losing her job and the family facing financial challenges, the situation takes a toll on their well-being. Victor's mother reveals the extent of their struggles providing financial assistance to the young couple. Yet, Reina's mother remains oblivious to the hardships her daughter is facing, thanks to Reina's silence. Amidst financial woes, an unhealthy dynamic emerges in Reina and Victor's relationship. A serious fight leads to a drastic change in Victor's appearance. As Reina takes revenge by cutting off his long black hair, the couple's troubles intensify as Reina threatens to leave him if he doesn't find a well-paying job within a month. On February 3, 2018, Reina goes to her mother's house to pick up the children seemingly normal. However, beneath the surface, an ominous calm prevails. Reina's mother fails to notice the brewing storm in her daughter's life, unaware of the tragedy about to unfold. As we delve deeper into this harrowing story, join me in uncovering the events that transpire after that seemingly ordinary Saturday. The tragic events that unfold will leave you questioning the fragility of happiness and the hidden darkness within seemingly idyllic lives. On a seemingly ordinary Sunday morning, Ryan has in good spirits. Little did anyone know that this would be the calm before an unimaginable storm. Join us as we explore the last moments of normalcy before the tragic events that changed everything as days passed without any contact from Reina. Her parents grew increasingly concerned. Calls and messages went unanswered and even Victor, Reina's partner, remained elusive. The unsetting silence stretched, leaving Reina's loved ones in a state of agonizing uncertainty. Finally, Victor breaks the silence, assuring Reina's parents that everything is in order. He promises an explanation from Reina herself and asks them to wait for a call. The Reyes phones falls flat as days turn into weeks without any sign of life from Reyna. The heartbreaking truth begins to emerge as law enforcement officers reach out to Reyna's parents. Victor, in custody, confesses to the unimaginable crimes. The carefully detailed testimony unveils a sinister chronology of events that shook a quiet neighborhood to its core. On a fateful Sunday morning, a heated argument between Victor and Reyna escalated into a violent confrontation. Victor, overwhelmed by rage, ended Reina's life with brutal blows. What followed was a series of horror acts that shattered the lives of innocent children. As Victor manipulated the situation, he sent Daniela, the eldest daughter, to the store, creating a facade of normalcy. Unbeknownst to her, tragedy unfolded in her absence. The truth behind Reina's disappearance became a dark secret hidden in plain sight. Victor's actions continued as he strangled Reina's younger daughter upon her return. 
The bodies were moved to their shared bedroom and a sinister plan unfolded. Araman, Reina's youngest, was lured away under false pretenses only to meet a tragic end at the hands of the one person he trusted. As Victor claims that financial struggles pushed him to commit a heinous crime, we explore the contradictions within his story. Acquaintances revealed recent complaints about family disagreements over money, and Victor's mother points to the critical state the couple was in, exacerbated by an unexpected financial setback. While financial difficulties were cited as a motive, the brutality of the crime did not align with their state of mental illness. Victor's mother's explanation seems insufficient, leading investigators to dig deeper. The preliminary autopsy report reveals not only the loss of lives but also the abuse suffered by the female victims. Reyna's concerns about inappropriate act towards her youngest daughter Angela become a crucial piece of the puzzle. Investigating WhatsApp messages and testimony, it becomes apparent that Victor had a disturbing relationship with Angela, raising questions about the true motive behind the crime. As the trial begins, forensic experts, investigators, and witnesses paint a harrowing picture of Victor's actions. Crystal, Victor's best friend, provides key information about his demeanor on the day of his arrest. The trial unfolds with shocking revelations, leaving the Dominican society outraged. The psychiatric examination exposes Victor's antisocial personality disorder, revealing a lack of guilt and conscience. This diagnosis adds a layer of complexity to the case, challenging society's understanding of the motives behind such a heinous crime. As the trial concludes in just two days, the heinous crime leaves the Dominican society outraged. The swift proceedings bring justice to the victims, but the questions surrounding the motive and the depth of darkness within Victor's mind linger. As we explore the aftermath of Victor's heinous crime, we discover that friends and acquaintances were shocked by his actions. Some even revealed that he had confessed the crime in detail, but it was so horrifying that they dismissed it as a joke. The quiet demeanor of Victor left everyone bewildered. Neighbors, teachers, and co-workers described Victor as a quiet guy with a distinctive appearance. No one suspected he was capable of such brutality. Witnesses at the trial, including forensic experts, provide shocking details that paint a grim picture of Victor's actions, leaving the community in disbelief. Victor's only childhood diagnosis of attention deficit disorder, but it seemed to cause no significant issues for him or his family. The calm exterior masked a troubled past, leading to an unthinkable crime that would later shock the nation. As the trial unfolds, Victor's mother takes the stand, expressing her grief and urging for justice to be served. Even she is shocked by the details provided by forensic experts and pleads for her son to face the consequences of his actions. In a surprising turn, Victor Peter pleads guilty in court to the Bhutan murders and apologizes to the victim's family and the community. He calmly accepts the gravity of his actions and acknowledges that he can never undo the lives he took. The court hands down the most severe sentence available 30 years. As we conclude this harrowing tale, questions linger about whether Victor, at just 30 years old, will ever leave prison and what the future holds for him. The thrilling confession and the shocking turn of events serve as a reminder that monsters can lurk where we least expect. As we explore the possibility that financial difficulties pushed Victor to the edge, we uncover a complex web of family disagreements and a critical financial state. Victor's mother, Mrs. Joanna Mendoza, shares her belief that the demand for money may have triggered the unthinkable, while financial difficulties painted out as the trigger. The extreme brutality of the crime raises questions. A preliminary autopsy report reveals a horrifying truth. All female victims were not just deprived of their lives but subjected to abuse. The dark underbelly of the crime begins to emerge. The deeper investigation reveals Reina's concerns about Victor's inappropriate acts towards Angela. WhatsApp messages expose a disturbing reality with threats to involve the police. The relationship between Victor and Angela takes a sinister turn, suggesting a motive beyond financial problems. As testimonies unfold, it becomes clear that Victor has a special relationship with Angela. The caring gestures mask a darker reality as investigators assume that the crime was committed to conceal wrongful acts against Angel. Forensic results confirm the horrifying abuse suffered by Raina and her daughters. The psychiatric examination exposes Victor's antisocial personality disorder, revealing a lack of guilt and conscience. This diagnosis adds a layer of complexity to the case challenging the narrative that financial despair was the sole driving force behind the crime. In a heart-wrenching moment, Victor's mother expresses her grief in court, urging for justice and apologizing to Raya's family. The chilling confession and the shocking revelations force even Victor's mother to acknowledge the gravity of her son's action. As news of the crime spread, the Dominican society was left outraged and shocked. The trial, beginning in January 2019, unfolded in just two days, revealing disturbing details that left the nation grappling with the unthinkable. 
Experts, forensic analysts, investigators and witnesses took the stand, providing a mosaic of insights into Victor's dark world. Crystal, his best friend, reveals a haunting moment when he handed over social media passwords, hinting at a possible plan to escape life. As friends testified, a chilling narrative emerged. Victor's confession to a close friend, though initially dismissed as a joke, revealed the true horror of his actions. The quiet demeanor that neighbors, teachers, and co-workers would clash starkly with the brutality behind closed doors. Victor's seemingly ordinary childhood, marked only by attention deficit disorder, became an enigma. The trial unfolded with ink witnesses, including forensic experts, presenting shocking details that prompted even Victor's own mother to call for justice, acknowledging her son's guilt. In a courtroom filled with grief, Victor's mother expressed her sorrow and begged for forgiveness from Breyer's family. Victor, admitting guilt, apologized to the community and victim families. A mother torn between love and horror, she pleaded for the weight of the law to fall upon her son. As the sentence was pronounced, Victor Peter faced the most severe punishment available in 30 years in the Dominican Republic's judicial system. A sentence that mirrored the gravity of the crimes committed and left a nation grappling with questions of justice and redemption. As we navigate through the twists and turns of this harrowing crime, remember to subscribe for more gripping stories. Stay vigilant and until next time, this is your channel name, signing off.